guys hello and welcome to the librarian tv network today is october 1st 2024 and at this hour we told you why to showcase you the bourgeois island part of you know Maserato. so this is the west africa you know fishery uh, company that is located right in lockington so keep posted as we bring you details information and we guys so daily update uh, as to what is current and or uh, unfolding in the country i'm francis kd kapok coming to you like you can like share and comment on our facebook and youtube channel so for today a uh, major we don't really have major happenings i uh, but happy it we we'll definitely update you every guy so what is happening so today is october 1st and today is the former president george mano we are birthday today makes him 58 years old so as we speak you know uh, many of the sedition many of the supporters and sympathizers are currently trying to make their way to the party headquarters all uh, right Unfortunately, I, I can we 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 am unable to actually go there. Uh, I wish I could have actually made my way there. You know, yesterday was the birthday, and so on and beyond that. I'm feeling some pain behind my neck, so today I'm home to actually you know attend to some medication. But how be it? Uh, while we are home, we will we totally wise to showcase you uh, the street of Bourgeois Island. So yesterday, former finance minister from the summit where uh, appeared on the OK uh, even drive. And during his appearance, he elaborated on some critical national issues, he said some things, and there were many who called and also, you know, appreciated his appearance and also some uh, injected what he, injected what he said. Some actually out of some waters and some appreciated. But how be it? All right, this was his life here. So, on number seven, I said President Bwakai administration will face some difficulties, and right? especially things that they actually did when they were in government, and that thing were actually you not know, criticized by. It, it, it was criticized by the Unity Party by then because they were in opposition. And they are currently, they, they are currently doing the same thing that they were criticized for. So, uh, on the most summer time, makes uh, some accessionary guys to the the most talk about harmonization that was done uh, when they came to when they came, when they came to prominence in 2017 when the harmonization was done. Uh, he said that they they they, 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 they were like, thinking about actually, you know. I place it down people, especially civil servants from, you know, the payroll. But then, I, they got some, you know, information and they were told by President, we are by then now, oh no, leave all of these individuals on the payroll. Don't take anybody from there. Uh, each and every one are Liberian. Just leave them, then uh, let everybody do what they can do. And they will just move on as, you know, it is. But as... Uh, they, as they were running, you know, the payroll became very congested. So, in order to satisfy Liberian, in order not to take, uh, you know, spoon from in any one mob, what they did was to ensure that the harmonization uh, was actually implemented, wherein at least when more ends, someone can be able to take maybe some of the five hundred dollars from as a takeaway. But then, this was something that was hugely criticized. They were condemned by civil servants because, according to some of the civil servants, some of them said, oh, they were making 500, some of them were making 600, some of them were making 1,000 dollars. But then, when the government came, dropped their pay for Easter from 500 uh, to maybe around 200 or 150. So, this 
it really created that kind of you know a uh, challenge for them by then but how be it they were able to actually run the government successfully and things actually went in the core but then uh, he was also asked as uh, so whether he has any political intent for 2029 to either contest in Montserrado, Grand Cru, or maybe Mangibi. And he said when the time reaches, definitely they will cross that path. In addition to that, uh, yeah, he was also asked if president, if the former president, uh, the former president will definitely come to prominence in 2029. And he said, oh, of course, yes. Uh, president we are has the intent of coming back to politics in 2029 and setting a president we are will win the presidency so after all of these things after all of these things were said and he said that oh but the United party is currently you know doing the same thing that they did uh, when i look at the issue of paper harmonization you know, he was condemning the ad where in saying that the CSA boss and about Josiah Joker is illegally uh, removing citizens from the payroll and which is of course he's supposed to be that way and he's supposed to maintain these individuals on the payroll and see how best they can actually harmonize pay. But then the United Party government is saying that uh, there were a lot of ghost names, there was a lot of I illegal you know name on the payroll. Henceforth they will definitely clear the payroll. So these are things happening. And also, we've just been told by the CSA boss, anytime this month or at the end of this month, the issue about credential audit will definitely start. So uh, Martin Colley, who I uh, started the whole fight during the uh, administration of President Weir about this credential audit, he flagged out numerous of names. Uh, he called names out. There were a lot of recommendations that was made for, you know, individuals who have fake credentials or who, uh, who, who is not up to the tax to actually be removed uh, for their, you know, for that degree or uh, whatsoever document they have should be revoked. But then to no avail, finally the Borka administration has come and they have agreed that yes indeed, the issue of credential orders will go on. So, for the past days, Martin Colley had been uh, flagging out some names. And especially, he said that the credential order should start from CSA. Uh, yeah, so he called a series of names, uh, a series of, you know, individuals who are currently holding a top position in the CSA. And they said that, yes, uh, these guys have fake degree. Some of them are not qualified. And he also said one of the individuals also reached out to him that, oh, yes, confirmed that, oh, I have an online uh, fake degree. So... These are things happening. And this morning as well, he wrote on his Facebook page that uh, one of the commissioners at the Ministry of Education also have a fake degree. So we are hoping for, you know, the credential order to actually go on to see as to what exactly will be the outcome of what the government will definitely do in regards to that. But how be it? This too is like, this is what, you know, normally happen uh, in a society, but then uh, the rule of law or justice definitely need to stand up in order to ensure that things are properly done. So, uh, there is this there is information, the alleged information being circulated in the media that Speaker Kofa has a presidential ambition in 2029. Whether it is true or not, we don't know yet, but when we are blessed to actually lay our hand on you know the tangible information then definitely we will let you know in regards to what the speaker is definitely up to so we also been told that there have been series of protests ongoing in maryland county uh where in parent are protesting saying uh that there's a serious, you know, importation of drugs from Africa's so by uh, Maryland. So they are protesting that oh yes, they don't need such for their children and so on. But uh, we are hoping to get in details information as well as to what the stakeholders are currently doing in order to mitigate the situation in that part of Liberia.
So I uh, speak of Kofa is currently in the United States and he's having a series of you know mating dialogue. The last time we told you that oh, he has been in the state for a couple of time and he was going there to meet with the General Association in the US, the Grand Crew Association in the US and other you know uh, group. Yeah, so the speaker is uh, expected to be back anytime by uh, next week. So we are hoping to get in, you know, more information or details uh, regarding his travel. So guys, uh, on this note, we want to shut down this curtain of the broadcast. Uh, we want to say you can like, comment, and share on the library TV network. I'm Princess Katie Kopoka, make sure you like. Thank you for following the broadcast.